Yipes. All right, we're back. I'm starting this. So again. just, just, just cut through it, and we'll, uh, we'll grab any giant moons we can get, and then we'll go. The stomach is like, the stomach's like forty feet below the ground, by the way. Yeah, oh, but if we so cut it some... open completely, could we see them? So there is no like, stomach above ground. Light in there. There's no stomach above ground. Of okay, well, let's get the I thought we were here. like excavating, like using stone shape yeah, or the paint. Yeah, we just excavate a bit and then. Well, we just Tell excavate a bit. Tell me how you're gonna do that. Just like paint a, a, a pit like 40 feet down. Like... Yeah, fuck it. I'll use a paint. No. <laughs> uh, let's leave. I, dude, like, if we can get diamonds for this, like, we can get your, you, you more fucking res diamonds and stuff don't, like that. Don't act like those diamonds are for me. I'm the one using them for other people. Well, fine. <laughs> we need them, right? I mean, we also can buy diamonds. Like, I, uh, I, 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 have... I don't mind going through all this trouble, but it feels like a lot of trouble for... You don't actually know that there are diamonds down there. I have a yeah. thousand gold worth of diamonds. Yeah, and we're we also about to go through a job where we get it's gold. It's very simple. Just to like, well, we have one that's already gone. So everyone say yes or no, and the the, the majority we we do. I right. say we do it. I say no. Okay, that's, that's just, uh, that's, that's that's just go then. Let's just go. Yeah. I mean, I can't really do anything to help you. Try did we, did we, anyway. did we want to cut off his head or like grab a few teeth or something yeah, for his head? head probably weighs about as much as an elephant. Yeah, yeah well, there, like, we won't do that, I guess. Did he, does he have yeah, like big teeth? teeth? There's big teeth. We'll grab some teeth and there we go. Yeah, like an, an heirloom or, yeah, like a. In, in good old Bogodo style. Well, we could give one to like uh, the, the king as like a. Whatever. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, here's a like, whatever. I can just toss it at him. <laughs> whatever. Someone else can people. do it. Well, Flynn is a good talker. He, he, he'll just make a good story around it and hand it to the king. No, I we saved. We saved. Here, literally. <laughs> yeah. literally. <laughs> I think that's a brutal. Literally. Awesome. Anyways, we're walking out of the Lashing. well. Uh, I'm walking with two pe two, two minds at the same time, walking out of this shit. <laughs> yeah. I chug it, chug it, chug it, chug it. Let's leave. <laughs> You're walking uh, the wrong way. Yeah, that's, Dusty, that's, that's like. Dusty, that's Dusty, the wrong way. Wrong way. That's the wrong way. Dusty, that's also yeah, the wrong that's, way. Yeah, that's, that's fine, Dusty. That you you just walked way, the wrong it? way. It's not that way we came. <laughs> that's yeah, the we only came. way in and out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, wait. So the worm came on the. The worm the... came up from the ground. Yeah, it came from wait. behind us when we went back to no, the No, so the side that we drew the portal on, like the picture. Oh, it the came portal. From the other side. Portal is right here. Dusty just didn't follow any of this, did you? Well, I was listening. DM. I was listening. <laughs> it just didn't grab my inspiration. Oh yeah, my oh. fault. <laughs> Wait, no. So was the worm on the side all the miners were trapped at? Yes. Okay. The worm died so Finally. fast. He just didn't let it. Do you never understand in. why I thought the miners were all there? Yes, no, we you did. did. We, Let's we just spent a lot of time you, you bringing no them through. No idea what's going on, huh? Yeah, this is like walking out, just like, wait, where were we? <laughs> <laughs> I fucking have a word of recall. Get her. Oh, oh, what, 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 what? oh no! I don't have it. I don't have it. You don't have a sanctuary prepared. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he just starts <laughs> shouting some bullshit at us. <laughs> um. Cool, you guys head up and the miners are kind of like all like at the entrance to the mine so they can get some fresh air and uh, make sure they're not going to get uh, buried again. And, uh... <sighs> um, then the entire yeah, mountain shakes like, and then even bigger. Yeah, they're all like uh, celebrating and thanking you guys and 
you know, you get a lot of like, God, if we had anything, we'd give you it, but sorry. <laughs> I'm still yeah, yeah, like, it's part of the contract, right? Hmm? What was that? I, I... Feels like an opportunity, so. I, I tell the guys, well, there's a purple worm in there with a belly full of gems, so you guys can get that. Oh, yeah. We don't know that there's gems in the belly. I, I'm just kidding. We can Wind safely Wind. assume. He just went there grabbing things blindly. Flynn, Flynn I got would it. know that there were shit tons more rocks in there. Whoever yeah, that's why I kind of wanted to get him. Yeah. Nature check. <laughs> like, yeah, Flynn was the one who succeeded in the nature check and he got like 23. That was a good nature check. It, it was literally a case of like how many he could stuff in his pockets in like the 20 seconds he could survive in there. <laughs> Less it, than was, that. it wasn't. Yeah, like, if we're not yeah, not grabbing it, we should hey, definitely hey, tell hey, them about it. Yeah, I already told them. Like, yeah, there we go. Uh, I'm you, full of the you stomach get some. Though. Uh, you okay? So they kind of like uh, you hear some murmurings of that, um, and something gets whispered into uh, Terry's ear, and he nods and he goes. Hey, uh, this is gonna be a huge favor, but would you guys not report the purple worm? Oh, totally. Sure. Yeah, sure. Wait, what? Well, if if you guys report it, then you know the the overseers are just gonna come and take everything. You know, where if we can get in there, can and, profit. And, yeah, we'll <laughs> profit. We might actually be able to afford some some meat for once. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah so there's there's no one else else clients. of the of the group of our, our we are here alone, right? There's no one else of the. Uh, uh bit of an issue. I've already left. <laughs> like yeah, I'm already outside. I'm talking with the captain, or whoever the fuck we were were outside. We didn't uh, say that. Like, no one else came with us. Here. What was up? Um, you will, you definitely would have mentioned that you went to fall twice, would you? No, I don't think I would. That's fine. That's fine. That's not. That's mm. not a bad Mila decision. That's just the way it played out. Okay. Um. Yeah. Oh well. Um. I guess I'm the miners will find out and maybe think you guys <laughs> ratted, but it's fine. Well, Mila um, would have. Oh, uh, I. I, Mila, I think Mila, Mila went out ahead. First? Uh, I don't think Mila would have hung out with the miners. No, th this uh, plays out in character. Not. This definitely plays out in character. Um, but uh, yeah, so Mila is just like not with the group, and you guys. Well, Mila doesn't know about the questions. diamonds either. Mila just yeah, saw Mila, a guy yes. jump into it, and. Uh, no, we would definitely have talked about I, it though. She, she would have known. I would have. Known. She would have known about the worm at least. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and that's enough for like people who is yeah. informed to. Yeah, exactly. But it, like yeah. I say, it's not. That's not a. That's a genuine character moment. That's not a. You know, that's not a loss on the player's part, mm -hmm. uh, or a failure, I should say. Um, yeah. So definitely a loss on the miners' part. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> again, just due to the way things would have played out. Yeah. Um, I would like to. I'm. I'm gonna go up to Terry. And yeah, I'm gonna give it. him. I'm gonna give him a thousand gold. Okay. What's this for? You, you know. Um, you know. You saved us, right? I'll be honest. I don't need it. Very much. <laughs> Oh my god, he's flexing on them. No, no, that's not what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't need... I don't use much money. To be honest. Okay. You just use diamonds. Um, only when people die. <laughs> is, is, is there anything we can do, like, or I can do for you? Like, uh... you can buy some meat with it. Live, yeah, live. Yeah, yeah get, get a decent meal in your food, for God's sake. Keep people alive, you know, buy some buy some stuff buy to some re timber. reinforce your yeah, re reinforce your caves, stop people dying, you know. Get drunk. Ah, uh, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> the spirit of Bogador is on your shoulder, um, time to get drunk. <laughs> I can definitely do all of getting, that. Getting drunk is good, you know, companionship and that. Good man. Pretty good. Cool. Okay, wow, yeah, that's so generous. Thank there. you so much. Um, I give, you know, a high five. Okay, yeah, high five. 
<laughs> and I cast <laughs> two ones. He's not hurt. <laughs> well, he, he feels feel reinvigorated. Is it, Is it warm? It's tingly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think now I five. Dived into this worm and maybe his cough is better. You, 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 his black lung. Pardon? His his cough is a little better. Ah, oh, perfect. Cool. So do you guys um after that is there anything else you want to do? Do you want to head yeah, back to the road? Just one thing, Dusty. You might want to actually maybe mention your. Deity, I don't know. Oh, fine. Okay, all of this, all of this was possible. This was actually sponsored. Mission was brought to you by Fiona. I gave, I gave him the fucking chance to say it. I asked him. Did I you? asked him. Yeah, when? I was like, is there? No, I was like, is there anything that we can do for you? You know? Oh like, shit! Like, say Fiona, you fucking idiot. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm, I'm tired too. Um. This trip was sponsored by, um, the reason I don't need money is because I have someone looking after me all the time. Um, Make a um, religion check as you try to reach to this crowd just of so... miners. Okay. I mean, roll okay. played out too. I'm, I'm gonna lock that. Yes, do keep role playing it out. Sorry, I shouldn't have interrupted it. Fuck yeah. Nice. So, the whole reason I'm not blundering right now is because Fianna gives me luck. Um, <laughs> you should, you should like, Dusty's like, I should write something down for these occasions. Any, any, <laughs> any, other, week, any other week would be better for me for this. You don't have to role play it out if the, I if the mind is. I did write something there. Oh yeah, are are you, are you a rel the religious type, Terry, Terence? Uh, Why do you call me Terence? <laughs> Terence. Uh, yeah, somewhat. You do mind? No. Uh, you asked me if I was a religious type, and I said somewhat. <laughs> right. Yeah, I also asked you another question. Okay. Can I call you Terence? You can call me Terence, yeah. Great. <laughs> it's really um, good you rolled the 21. <laughs> so you're the, you're the religious type, you know. Um, <laughs> your, your god didn't stop this from happening. <laughs> you know that purple worm? <laughs> 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 If you're if you're gone, you're that's just a little bit more. Bitch. I mean, I'm not sure that 21's gonna cut it there. If you're gone, that's just a little bit more lucky. A little bit more lucky. Oh. Um, wonders could happen. You know, okay. with luck comes power. Does it? And I am powerful, and lucky, and you could be too. To Have you heard 21. of Fiona? Oh God. <laughs> Uh, I imagine no, we're all like dying nice. in the background. By the way, it's like, like this is the this is the worst distance I've ever seen between an actual place performance and a roll. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm I, glad I, you didn't make a Christmas trick. I'm like. I'm like, do I fucking do I play along with the twenty one or do I play along with I this was, fucking stupid shit? No you're prepared saying? for this. No, it's fine. It's gotta be a compromise, you right? Um, you couldn't have yeah, just said fair. this was all thanks to Fiona, give her thanks and leave. No, you had to just try and sell them on the idea. All of this could be yours for the low, low price of five ninety nine. Have, have, oh and fuck your ever, god. Have you ever heard the name Fiona? Uh he's walking away. <laughs> I'll give you a certain gold. I'll yeah, give you a certain more. In fact, for the love of God, he's already converted. Oh, you, nice. you got it. You'd say stop. I'll, I'll, okay, I'll write something. <laughs> okay, please. Do. I did write. I did write something for I'm like red on that shit. I'm gonna make leaflets. You need to write it on your fucking like. Dust needs to write it on his palm. <laughs> That's actually good. At it. Where did I write this? Tattoo of what he's starts, supposed to say. Starts pulling up various bits of orange going, and all rolls it down here somewhere. I had a speech prepared. 
Oh my Anyways. god, nothing <laughs> done. Well, he's got way more notes than me, holy shit. I love it. Now most of these are Kanji, I was just picking Sarens. Okay. Um... Cool, so the crowd's been converted to... Uh... Fianism? Fianism. I don't know, it needs a name, I'll think of that at some point. The Cult of Fianna. Yes, uh, I like that. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> uh, at the very least, the, the, the you know... The Why does this feel like a pyramid scheme? The Fianna family. Impression has been left in their minds of this god Fianna, which some of them have heard of. Um, yeah, I would have thought. So, uh, yeah. Uh, you guys head back to the carts and keep rolling. Yeah. Uh, wait, no, hang on. The second I see Flynn walk out that cave, bang. He is not getting in this carriage when he's thinking like that and he's got slime all over him, no fucking chance. I just he do press the digitation. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll do press the digitation. Um, no, well, this I, is happening. I, this is I mean, happening. she's already done this it. But yeah, you can like dry him up with press digitation. Yeah. I'm still, I'm still in shock. I don't know what's happening. Okay, so I, you're just like, you, yeah, you don't, uh, you don't, there's no resistance here. You just get lifted up in a nice bath. Oh, and, then okay. when, and then when you, and then when I break the water sphere, I dry him off because I'm not a complete cunt. Cool. I am a cunt, uh, but not a complete one. <laughs> so I'm, the, still, huge... I'm still like, Ugh. <laughs> like, I was, I was in a worm. I'll carry yes, you. Yes, I know. That's why I. You know what? Never mind. Can we just go, please? A worm. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh worm. Sorry. I'm Slug. still mad. I'm still mad that Peter Parker never said that in Avengers. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So, um, yeah. So, uh, oh, what's the fuck? What stupid dick bag's name? Uh, Hastamon uh says, "Well, that didn't take very long at all. Wow, you're remarkably efficient." Yeah, we even like farted around for ages too. <laughs> 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 Sorry, um, I'm starting to see why uh, we sidetracked. Uh, sure. Um, That's well, regardless, I'm seeing how you're able to accomplish a feat of winning the grand melee. Oh uh, my! Oh my! I should say that was perfect. Uh, like anyway. in the background. <laughs> shoo, Flint, shoo. Go to sleep. <laughs> well, I'll, ca I'll carry you to the carriage. If you're more than done, uh, I think we should be on our way. Um, and I'm sure words of this deed will reach the king's ears uh, before before we do, which we'll be most proud of, uh, pleased about. <coughs> Sorry, what was that? Fantastic. Uh, onwards. Onwards. To the king, the wonderful king. Uh, well, technically, oh, emperor, but yes. Oh, emperor. I know, I said king. That's my bad. Yeah. Kido. Uh, I, I believe cool. it's really the same difference to us, to be honest. Kind of, yeah. It's been two, two weeks, boy. right? So we're in two weeks away, right? As long as no one refers to him as a target, it uh, should be fine. <laughs> <laughs> as long as there's not someone with the name, like, King whatever, and we mess them up. We're, we're two weeks away, right, Brooke? Uh... We, we went for two weeks. It, no. Yeah. Well, you're very close, actually, to the border of Thrice, which is where you're due to be searched. Uh, and as you uh, have been filled in, uh, the uh, two members of the um, Royal Executioners, um, which is more title than a function, um, will be waiting to join the rest. Uh, yeah, so you guys get a long rest, and you get several yeah. more long rests. Um, as uh, a, uh, another four days of travel brings you to the city of Lansfar. Uh, uh, Brooke, just, I just need to clarify something. Do I get all of my sorcery points back with a long you rest? Get everything. Yeah, you get everything. Excellent. Yeah. And, uh, Excellent. Every morning, every morning, I'm going to cast Speech. Inspiring vegan. Yay! I climbed I mean... through a motherfucking worm for you. And what did you get? 17. Two. Nice. 2,000 gold. For yourself. 3,000 gold for you guys. Wait, uh, do you want to give them to me fun. so I can use it to, heal, to some, save some, people? You took, the, you took the diamond off me. Yeah, I, I, think... I, I never had the diamond. <laughs> I'm guessing it's just in a bag of holding for now. 
Oh, I'm interested to like what Dave got for himself though, like what he kept. Just some tumors or? I, 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 I kept some shit. Alright, so I, I kept I kept a ruby worth 600 gold. Oh, okay, cool. Alright, so it's a 3000 gold uncut diamond, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the whether or not it's cut doesn't matter at all to the to its functionality and spellcasting. Yeah, so could you use it and then if you Wait, wouldn't it less... sell, it would not but, sell for 3000 as it is. But that's it weird be though, like because its value is dependent on whether it's cut or not. See, and then I, like I the spell yeah. I think because then you could be like, oh, oh I get we my could... diamond extra cut for we we had this discussion <laughs> when it came to your the value of your gems for the for for the things like, oh like do I need to get this gem cut for it to be valuable enough to be used? I'm like yeah, I'm I'm just like shining a light on the bullshit of the ruling, honestly. Well, no, well, I think the way it works is you have 300 gold's worth of diamond, and you can only sell it for 300 gold when it's cut. Hmm. If okay. you try and sell it before it's cut, it's worth less than what it's uh, true. Uh, I, I just want to know, like, if you use an item of 3,000 gold for a spell that's 300 gold, you will lose the rest, right? See, the way I've kind of... Um, the way I've kind of been doing it is that if you use, like, a 3,000... Um, uh, like, a 3,000 gold diamond and you cast uh, Revivify with it, which uses up a tenth of its worth, then it dulls, like, slightly and it's worth 300 gold less. Okay, so then I just give it to Dusty so you can just cast the <laughs> yeah. fuck out of it. Nice. So is this, like, just a diamond that, like, fits in my hand? Mm-hmm. Nice. Well, cool. Maybe a bit smaller than a baseball, and it's, like, nice and smooth as well. It's not cut. Which is really yeah. unusual. You're not used to seeing uncut diamonds. Yes, it's much better. If you polish it, it would look really cool. But right now, it's just kind of like crusty. Yeah. Actually, it probably would be polished, wouldn't it? Because it was in stomach acid. Yeah. Oh, yeah, true. that's true. It wasn't. You didn't chip it out of the rock. He, it's yeah. probably actually really smooth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Well, any imp any impurities whatsoever would have been burnt away. So it's like a pearl. Kind of. No, no. Pearls are when irritants form. Um, this oh, and then, like, the layer forms outside, I know, but... Yeah, but so basically what would happen is this thing would have passed over a huge diamond buried in the rock, um, and all the rock around it will have gotten uh, digested. Oh, um, yeah, so, so kind, it doesn't, like, form, like just, like, coarse, still? It, it would be, like, hair or something, if anything, like, um, like, how hair just stays in your stomach, it doesn't pass through. Mm. Um... Yeah, so it, it it's not coarse. It's relatively smooth, but it's definitely misshapen. And uh, if you like <laughs> polished it properly and shined it, it would be shinier. <laughs> oh no, that's a fucking team. Margin Boo, Broly, and Kid Boo. Let's go. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. So um, yeah, you have this diamond, which you can cast a ton of spells out of. That might actually be better in the haversack if Dusty's got the haversack. Yeah. yeah. I've got my haversack. So, how are we? Anything else happening in the two weeks we have to still travel or week? Mm, yeah, so after another four days of travel, you arrive at the city of Landsfile, um, which is pretty much marks the border of Thrice. Um, and Nareem and uh, Sarim and Namala have kind of been filling you in a little bit as you go. And the placement of the Frisian border, where Fry ends and where Harbin begins, isn't accidental. Um, and this is where I'm going to law dump a little bit on you guys about the uh, royal executioners, um, who are the best way I could describe it is they're basically like super soldiers, almost. Um, it's it's a title handed down. Um, and there's always eight of them. Um, but um, when they're chosen, they're given like immense strength and power. And that power is only active within the border of Thrice. And this is Ooh. the end of their jurisdiction. And nobody within this border dares to, uh, you know, 
um, claim independence. <laughs> not when they're not when they're, they're within the executioner's reach. Um, and uh, speaking of which, two of these individuals are waiting for you guys. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, at the uh, kind of like waypoint uh, that you or check-in station or whatever uh, that you guys are uh, arriving at here at the gate of uh, Lansfile. And this is where, uh, I mean, you guys have been prepared for this for a while. This is where you guys are going to be checked um, for, for uh, dangerous uh, possessions. So mm -hmm. uh, the oh, rule shit. is generally um, one crucial weapon per person, um, oh. uh, dangerous uh, substances and materials uh, are no good. So things like poisons and explosives. Fuck. Um, oh, my grenades. Uh, however, they uh, will be stored here for you guys. Hmm. So you can come and collect them all the way back. So what counts as a weapon, though? Like, would my hook be a weapon? <sighs> no, it's a traveling it device. Um, oh, by the way, if you guys want to hide things, you can. But you're gonna have to like come up with a way, and I'll make you roll for it. For I didn't hear what you it. said though, because of David. Uh, the hook launcher. Uh, they would ask how it works and like what it is, and if you demonstrate it to them. Oh, um, like yeah, I would demonstrate it, like um, like basically like a grappling hook. Yeah. Okay, like a grappling. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say make a persuasion check to try and get this one through. You're literally trying to sneak something through air airport security. Mm. Okay. Um, Rick, can I have a minute to think? Of course you can. But keep going. And you would have known about this waypoint coming up, so you know I'll let you retroactively make decisions by like the four days since the mine. Um, if there's anything you want to stash <laughs> somewhere secret, uh, just let me know. Dig. Rick. Yeah. Uh, yes. What's up? <laughs> Uh, you can just click on that link and mark everything that is stored here. Cool. Yeah. Sense. So if you yeah, got... just press a, on the last area, just like, press, put an X behind the thing that's left here. Yeah. Okay. If anyone in... wants to take anything out, you have to look into it. Um. So. Like I would think that the the dragon powder will be stored here. Definitely dragon powder. Yeah. Yeah. Did they um, did they seem convinced? By the way. By the ten, um, probably not. They're gonna ask you to put that there. You just okay. got this new toy. That's not fair. Um, yeah, I haven't even played gun. with it that much. The soul soul Come shows. on. How big is that thing, uh, Brooke? Are they able to hide? Well, are they able to look into the bag of holding? Yeah, they dump it. They force it, they force it to empty. Oh, fuck. I didn't yeah. know. No, we did know. Uh, Brooke, can I store uh, things far... from my riding goat? No. It will just, it will drop when you, uh, when it disappears. You can try to hide, like, things on the person. But that's yeah. about it. Uh, Bro uh, Brooke, how big is that, uh, that, like, that device of, um, so they would like take all yes. my javelins and stuff. Like if I would keep only one weapon, it would be my glaives. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, javelins? No, they Wait. would. They would. Yeah. Okay. Wait, Wait, how big is that thing? You? Oh, it was on your wrist, right? It was wrist mounted, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, in a sense. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say the ten last year. I'm gonna say the ten last year. Keep it. Uh, okay. I was already thinking, I, uh, Brooke, I wanted to do a handhole and try and pull it through and, in a sense, take it that way. It would have been way too big for a handhole, sorry. Well, it's, wrist, but it's wrist mounted. It's so. heavy. But... It's his wrist. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it is big. It's heavy. Oh, yeah. It might be wrist um, mounted, but it's fucking huge. If okay. anybody wants an extra weapon, I don't really need a weapon. I can take yours. Nah. I mean, I'll just take my my armor decimator. I don't really need to have that in my I'm sword. guessing staff counts as a weapon. I mean uh, even yeah, when we like get yes. to the other side, we'll you'll they'll see that I have like more than one weapon. 
Yeah. Um, I can. Uh, I don't need my Dream Ripper Claw, so I mean, I'd rather Kieran be well armed for every eventual scenario, for any s scenario. So I could, I could just pop my. What I could do is I'm going to try. And... Don't forget your claws increase your uh, DC by two. I know, but I'm going to try and argue that they are a part of my um, attire ensemble. So okay, I would. I'll make you. I'll let you make a persuasion check for that. Um, and I, I, I would also just to add, just to, I don't know if this gives me advantage. I would put on a stunning dress that matches the clothes. I'd be like, well, don't you? Wouldn't you agree that these are, you know, all the decoration? <laughs> you know? Can can I do my? Can I go into a separate room to do my? Nope. My search. <laughs> do you request this? I do. <laughs> yeah, what? you can do that. Um, what? what are the soul shards, by the way? Does anyone remember what the soul shards Yeah, those are the things those did, uh, demons were eating or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Like okay. imps, imps were eating, right? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that's right, like energy. I'm gonna they say they, they're them. gonna take them because they haven't a clue what they are. That's um, oh, I've got, I've got one as well. No, we're not gonna be using I can mark well. that in my thing, though. Like, what did we even keep them for? Like, just to figure out, like... Are, are they gonna, later? like... Take to my eat one. forgery kit and disguise kit and all that shit. Mm, probably, yeah, they are. So I'm like marking off like a grappling uh, hook as well and sledgehammer and small knife. Uh, I, the, I'm the going grappling to hook would let you like infiltrate and stuff. Anything that will help you like yeah sneak around. What, Pickaxe is forgery. Gone. What a forgery kit is my you keep writing the utensils. I'm a bard. Okay, yeah, so... The, the, the potion of okay, poison cool. is against poison, not for poison. It's not poisoning, it's, it's a potion oh, against poison. Is it? Yeah. Okay, yeah, you can keep that. Good to know. Sorry. I was... Oh, is that what I have? Yeah, that's why I gave it to you, like, against poison. Um, Mila, uh, they are not buying the uh, thing, and it's like, these are clearly a weapon, man. Something. What kind of damage could they possibly do to a rugged hands? I'm really bad with this. I have no but idea. Th those are their only weapon, right? You don't have a staff, right? They are uh, no, their no. only weapon. Yeah, she's just no. trying to see if she can smuggle in someone else's. I think. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, I find. Fuck it. I'm, I'm keeping the claws. <laughs> uh, Flynn, uh, do you want to roll to see if you can keep your kit? Well, well, there's two things I actually want to do, but I don't want to tell people about one. Okay, well, just DM me. Yeah. The if, you want to go into room, okay. if, you, if you want to go into another room, we'll pop. it's going to be a lot quicker. Yeah. One second. The whip of Infimalment is okay, Brooke? Shh. Don't I'll keep it. They might not know it's a magical item. Maybe they just see it as a whip, but a whip is still a weapon, I think. I don't know. Monk, I'm pulling you in just because there's roleplay moment happening. Oh, um, right. So, so yeah. So, are you hiding? Are you hiding the gun? No, it's just on my waist. Okay. So you're. I and take. You're gonna, a, I are take you gonna out. Argue, so you have a hand crossbow, your ornamental knife, and your gun, right? I'm. I'm gonna hand over my ornamental knife and say, "This. This is my weapon." That That's your weapon. It's my weapon. Uh, you can keep the hand crossbow and my rapier. I don't Okay. Okay. Um, and... and hang on. What's 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 this what's this thing, sir? And they pull out the gun. Um, like after the pad down, they pull the gun out. This is a a, a device was uh, gifted to me. But what does the device do, sir? Do you know what fireworks you can, are? You can you can, you can lie. Uh, yeah, by the way, I am lying the entire time. Yeah, but as in, like, you can go, like, they clearly don't know what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go, like... It's, do you know what fireworks are? Uh, fireworks, yes, of course. It's, it's like a crossbow, but for fireworks. Uh... I, unfortunately, I've I've used all the... The... The f fireworks. Um, so I, I can't show you. Is there something... Is this something you had like? It's it's for made? decoration. I'm I'm a bard. I I play songs and sing and sing and sing songs. Okay, so, play so music this is just songs. a this it's is part, just a, like, part a of the show. Device. Yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, and, could you uh, kind of demonstrate how it works? Um, yeah. So it's not loaded. Yeah, it's not loaded. And the ammunition is hidden away in pockets and shit like. Okay, so um, we're gonna need to figure that one out later. Yeah. Um, 
Um, so I would, I, I open it, mm -hmm. like the, the whole set, and uh, I show, I show them. You, you put just a small rocket, kind of thing, like sure, you know, put it in here. Okay. And you kind of put it together, and you just pull the little lever here, uh, and it launches aim, the rocket. Aim out. it into the sky. Aim, yeah. Harmlessly. Oh, okay. Okay. And you don't have we do, you don't have any of the rockets. Un on you. Unfortunately, um, on on our travels here, we had a few, and and I was playing some songs and and uh, I I used them. I used them. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna need to make you for the deception check. Deception. So, with, with the DC I've decided on. Oh fuck. Uh, where's where's deception? No, that's fine. He gives you back the thing. Now he is going to do an investigation check uh, to see uh, if he can find your... And I've, I've kind of made a DC... My here. forger kit, yeah. Uh, it's what, well hidden. So what is is it just the ammo you're hiding or is there anything else you want to hide? Uh, ammo and the forgery kit. Okay. Okay. Really? Um, well, and you've given over the disguise kit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so he finishes patting you down. And he says, "Okay, so I think we're all good here. Uh, thank you for co cooperation." Uh, if I may ask, wh why didn't you want to be searched with the with the group? Uh, I, these... I have, I get a little bit self conscious. Uh, I'm gonna need to. Nervous. I'm gonna need another deception check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's understandable. That's no when problem. I'm on stage, I've got no problem, but normal time i get a bit anxious you know well that's fine that's fine um uh, well uh thank you for being so cooperative um oh, here are no your problem. here's your fireworks launcher i, I um, put it back in into the in, into my jacket and enjoy your enjoy your stay in fry so i'm sure it'll be very productive thank thank you very much okay you may join the others cheers thank you very much it's good that's a plus 13. That's a fucking mm. plus thirteen, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 you saw Kier, the deception check Kier, coming in. Kia, stop it! <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not there. Um, um, also, uh, I love the like every time something private happens, just like Kio standing in the background. <laughs> I'm just listening. <laughs> yeah, 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 fucking lampshade is trying to be inside. <laughs> 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 It's the uh, it's the ghost of Syra covered in like Looney Tunes uh, just standing. <laughs> there. Oh yeah, hell yeah! <laughs> Holy shit! What if that was the real reason? It's not just that he wants to stream it. It's that Syra is there, as in ghost. Yeah, that's that's now the 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 canon reason. <laughs> hmm. I like it. I can I can back canon that. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Spooky 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 Syra. Let's go. I love how I still have the uh, Cyrus Tinker Tools and Dulcimer and uh, other stuff from Cyra in the back holding. <laughs> oh, really? Huh. Uh, oh, yeah, his fucking instrument. His weird ass instrument. Oh, I okay, cool. I use so, that instrument too much. Uh, I think you played with someone. Yeah, we well, played, played at the start. The you played for the kids. Uh, I played it like two, three times camp. at the start. A few okay. first sessions. Yeah. We had a jump session in a pub, didn't we, once? Yeah, yeah, totally. Well, and, and for the kids at the fire, uh, when we were at the... Yeah, you did like a mm. harmonica and, and... Yeah, very good little harmonica. <laughs> yep. Uh, he's playing that one with the big G right now. <laughs> <laughs> Up for the angels. <laughs> God, <yeah>. Yep. <laughs> um, cool, so... Uh, yeah, so you guys, I think that's everyone's stuff. Hatsu, your crossbow is gone as well, by the way. Yeah. Uh... All I'm bringing is the, the... Yeah. The hammer. And everyone's grenades, obviously, are uh, yeah. good. Yeah! Um, so, they have... Everything has been placed into a uh, vault, uh, which is... Uh, you guys are all shown the uh, combination to. Um... Um, and it's uh, they just say like, um, if you want your stuff back, just uh, make sure make your way back here on the way on the return journey, um, or at any time uh, in the next year, and just uh, enter the code. Show. 
They took my potion of fire breathing, guys. Oh. Oh no. Yeah, there was a guy that specifically testing, like, t like putting a little dibber into every single potion vial you had to make sure, like, to test for poisons and stuff. And that formula is a very famous formula, so it was recognized. Anything in the fucking player handbook is a famous potion. <laughs> so, uh, well, it's the, it's the Dungeon Master Guide, but yeah. Cool. So you, you're allowing me to have my shovel? Sure, yeah. I thought about taking it. And I was like, oh, not... we have no, we've never used a shovel, but hey, we have a shovel. What are the things? Oh, the things marked in there. Those are the things that are out of the bag of holding. Wait, didn't we like dig uh, the corpses and stuff into the ground? We probably used a shovel there. Yeah. No, the corpses we gave to the other guys. Remember? All right. They had to do with it. I yeah, have a dimensional true. shack, dimensional shackles, Greg. Okay, we probably we never used a shovel. Uh, and those weren't taken, by the way. The shackles were not. The shackles um, are really useful for any. The shackles um, are extremely hard to get break, and they stop any kind of teleportation. Uh, any, and also any magical like, uh, fa like using the hands to cast anything like. Uh, no, no. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's just any manacles would do that, just because. Yeah. You don't have your full range of motion. Wait, is my quiver, the quiver of returning, is it like um, like a bag of holding or does they, it stick out still? Uh, they stick out. Okay. Yeah, then the old javelins are ready. You can keep the quiver if you want, but uh, they also said if you want to leave the quiver here with the javelins, that's fine as well. I'll keep the quiver. Okay. Yeah, they so... return to the. <laughs> That's a neat little trick, if that works. No, so, uh, they they do not. <laughs> you hear them uh, rubbing around in the. <laughs> <laughs> no, because the the return process is fairly instant. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ooh, okay. Okay. Sit up. Check my notes because we're moving forward. Um, right, so uh, yeah, you guys clear the uh, the uh, like checkpoint basically, and you are now free to kind of uh, just explore the town. Um, uh, uh, how long has it been in total? Sorry, just check. Uh, almost three weeks. Okay. So you have about nine days left of your journey, um, and okay. you are staying in this town for two days, by the way. Okay. All right, so everything's recharged. But everything up. will have been recharged anyway because you've spent four days on the road. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so you guys uh, get checked in into a very fancy hotel. This is definitely the first place you're actually stopping, um, and it's mostly just for uh, Sreem and Namala to clear paperwork and stuff um, with the uh, like immigration, basically. Um, so yeah, you're checked into a, a very fancy uh, hotel called the Angel's Feather. Okay. And um, yeah, you're more or less free to just kind of explore the town. Um, it's about 4 p.m. right now, um, but you do have all day tomorrow, and then you'll be setting off the next morning. So you're, it's two two nights, more than two days. Any cool shops? Uh, if you if you want to go exploring, you can see. Any like fire breathing potions in them? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Brick, are the guards that are out, are they the same kind of guards that would be in the palace? Or would there be special guards in the palace? Uh, the palace is special guards. The town, the, the town guards are just the town guards. Do they interact at all? Are the town, are the town guards interacting, or the palace guards? Well, no. Do the well. Do the town would town guards ever interact with the palace guards or? The Information palace guards. Gets the, 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 the palace guards are pretty far away. Um, they they only work with the palace. Although it, 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 important information will get passed along, sure. Mm -hmm. But like fairly routine stuff, not so much. They'll probably get a report on you guys. 
um, from the checkpoint, just basically saying an all clear. We don't know if they carried out any ID cards or anything. ID cards, you wouldn't know. Okay. You could, yeah, you'd have to ask or uh, rummage. <laughs> uh, Get some help. Uh, I'm going to get a glass of wine and read, by the way. <laughs> okay. Cool. Just want to stay for the record. Like, I'm, the, I'm the, whatever you guys are doing, I'm not doing it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you're just staying at the hotel? <laughs> yep. Cool. I'm going to go explore. Okay, so if anyone's exploring, make investigation checks to see what you can find. Yeah, I'll explore in this town. Uh, you're not should familiar. we see what we're looking for, or just. I'm just exploring. I keep uh, losing my fucking character sheet. I'm gonna follow. Flynn, I'm you gonna got follow Kira. Good. You got some fucking good shit, dude. Um, <laughs> are you all traveling together or are you all splitting up? Uh, I'm not particularly traveling. What am I anyone. getting? Am I getting better shit? <laughs> um, I'm gonna send you right. to two different places. Oh, we're like taking shops and stuff? Just, yeah, yeah, just walking right. around. We have a part of the shops are relatively. Uh, okay, simple. Right. Um, there's yeah, no. Uh, you get the impression that there's very little uh, stuff in the way of arms or armor or potions, um, which is odd because you often see stuff like that for sale in uh, in uh, uh, mid realm. But uh, you kind of get the impression that the uh, local authorities here don't want their populations armed as much as they can help it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would quite like to let Brent do most of the quirky. Oh yeah, don't worry, I've got you covered. <laughs> first. Yeah, no uh, one thing though that is way less regulated apparently um, is narcotics, as Flynn discovers <laughs> uh, a dispensary of sorts, a fantasy dispensary, um, which is just called the Den. Oh. Oh. Am I with anyone? That's an important question. Are you are you guys splitting up? Or are you going as a group? I will. I would follow Kieran. Okay. Kieran, where are you going? Are you, are you going with someone, or are you just uh, wandering, looking for your shit with the eighteen? I mean, I, like I don't think Karen's looking for anything specific. They're just kind of like walking around. I guess, cool. I I, guess I'm just walking around, around on my pillow. With them, I don't like. It's not really. I think I stay with Karen as well. Okay, so we pretty much follow as Molly. <laughs> Because okay. he would actually be interested in looking at yeah, things. Where, where are you going? <laughs> I, I guess I'm following the group. Like, or? I wouldn't have, like... When, when I know there's, like, no no specific, like, arm shop or anything, like, interesting to Kyo, like, he would just follow the group. Sure. Um, so, Flynn, are you going on your own, or are you with everyone as well? I mean... Flynn would go on his own. <laughs> what? My, um... I think I, I think I would good. start off as the group and just kind of. Place, you, I'm gonna say that Flynn, if you wanted, you could have spied <laughs> the den out of the corner of your eye and snuck away. That's. <laughs> it is kind of tucked away. Perfect. So, cool. Sounds like Flynn. Uh, so nice. you go in and the door ringles and holy shit, there's like this huge wall of smoke, uh, <laughs> and it hits you as you go in, and. Um, I'm gonna say they're probably smoking different stuff in this part of the world than what you're used to uh, in your circles. Uh, I, I'm like, with your background, I assume you probably went into quite a lot of recreational use. Um, yeah, I don't have, I'd have to imagine you would have done. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it, smells, it smells fairly sweet in here. Um, you see, like, uh, people, it, it's kind of like a bar. Um, but uh, at each table is uh, like a shisha pipe, but uh, slightly different. More like a bong. Okay. Like uh, glassware and stuff. Uh, yeah. And people are like, it, it's basically like if you combined a meth pipe with a, sh uh, a shisha. Uh, like a group meth pipe, basically, is what you're seeing in these tables. <laughs> Crackheads. Uh, yeah, it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty rough in here. 
I, I mean, I will saunter up to the bartender? Sure. <laughs> and... I guess the wow. dealer who would call it. <laughs> I don't know. The shopkeeper. The shopkeeper. Sure. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and introduce myself. Uh, he's like, uh, yeah. he, he asks, buying or smoking? What you got for sale? Uh, just, just, you know, right from around these parts, are you? I look up to him and say no. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so he kind of like reaches underneath the desk and pulls out fucking 12 gauge. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he pulls out like uh, a. <laughs> <laughs> I pull out my mini gun. Oh, <laughs> uh, he pulls out like a wooden box full of uh, samples. It's like, well, we've got more or less the classics here, you know. Um, and you recognize, you do recognize some, um, but uh, what everyone's smoking is our special blend. Okay. Okay. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll take what's the speciality. Okay, sure. So I ask you again, buying or smoking? Do you want a table or do you want to? Do you want to? Oh. I don't know what. Fa- I'm trying oh. to do fancy drug talk and I haven't prepared enough fantasy. <laughs> uh, do you want a uh, a pound? Do you want a, a pound? A, a, well, that's equivalent to a key, right? They wouldn't. Use I mean, I right? weigh thirty-five pounds. <laughs> it's quite a lot. I mean, you can buy that much if you want. No, I guess yeah, it would be ounces, wouldn't it? But ounces don't sound like a fantasy. Ounces is fucking uh, Do you want a, ho- have, have a horseshoe? <gasps> That's it. A horseshoe. A horseshoe weighs a kilo, right? Does it? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I'm just buy like a pound and buy. Talk, guys. I'm not prepared. Just buy, buy a pound, pound and buy it and take it to you. Oh, yeah. 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 A horseshoe would be like. And I will just buy. I'll buy a, a bag full. A toad. A toad. Oh, that's perfect. I love a that. Toad. Yeah. How, a many toad toad? How many toads? I um th- three. Three toads. Okay. How be... much is that? Three toads. Uh, that'd be about. That'd be about sixty gold. That's all you Just need. Just now, that much. I have that much. <laughs> I will. I will purchase three toads of uh herbs. Uh, and do you have a pipe? Uh, no, I'll be needing a pipe as well. Uh, that's fine. Take the, uh, just yeah, I'll throw one in. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and uh, I will saunter off. Such a rip off. Did you even investigate that? It nope. Was... <laughs> nope. <laughs> I wish I knew, and I could get like stuff for cooking in here. <laughs> oh yeah, you could cook up some good shit in here. <laughs> I will. I will. Uh, I will wish him wish him well, and uh, saunter off again. Cool. As you're walking out, one of the uh, one of the uh, toad heads on the uh, tables <laughs> uh, uh, just like, it exhales a huge cloud in, like into your path as you're walking past. Hey. Like, like... Yeah, <laughs> what, what, is, what does I, I'm trying to think. I'm, I'm trying to think of what to name this. Three toads of herbal medicine or some shit like that. Just drugs. Okay. Just drugs. Three, three toads of drugs. <laughs> Narcotic. How much is a toad? Uh, a toad it's is... a toad! <laughs> <laughs> Do you know your slang? Yeah, it's a toad. It, a, a toad is about two ounces. There you go. Okay. Uh, it's, it's quite a lot. It looks like it would keep you busy. Okay. Um, yeah, I will I will uh, load some of my drugs into my pipe and... and... Walk along and <laughs> what? I don't know. Wait, being like in the middle of the street. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it doesn't seem like a, a, an illegal activity here. Do you have a light or a kindling or anything? I have. I have magic. I I can. I have Spotting a lamp light. and oil. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a fireball? I do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have heat flint. metal. Let's go buy Flint. I, I will. I will. Yeah, I will go and buy. Next something. three hours, he's looking for Flint. <laughs> I will uh, go and find Flint some, relatively easily. That's just like some, five some sort of lighting apparatus. Yeah. 
Yeah, you buy you buy like a flint and steel box. Um, okay. It's basically like an old fashioned lighter. Yeah. Um, in fact, I think lighter is pretty probable, right? Yeah, yeah, the lighters, lighters can exist, yeah. Lighters are pretty low tech, aren't they? Um, yeah. yeah, so oh, you, you actually buy a lighter. lighter. You, and do you, you see a really nice ornamental lighter for 50 gold and it looks bling as shit? Can you link me a picture? Uh, no. dude, I'm just gonna fucking. Put in, um, <laughs> it looks. Oh, it no. looks the shit. Uh, hang on. How about antique lighter? Oh, some of these are fucking cool. Let's use that. Um. Ooh. Looks like, uh, oh, hang on, that's what's linked. Yeah, sure, it looks like that, but sh it's shinier and in better condition. Yeah, I, I will, I will purchase that. Can you stop linking the memes? Oh, Sorry, they're linking the memes. memes. I, yeah, I will, I will go memes. ahead and, and purchase the lighter. Oh, that's fancy as fuck. Yeah, I like that one. Okay. Uh, yeah, which I, one? Will, I will, yeah, I will, I like it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. I mean, it wouldn't be quite as modernly yeah. in modern in form, but it could look yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. I've actually found quite a few antique lighters and like how they look. They're pretty cool. Okay. Looking. Yeah. And I will I will saunter around in town. I'm gonna say it looks like these. Uh, but my uh. Do I, do I use up like a whole toad? Oh, that looks sick. No, I will I will I will smoke my uh my drug. I'll smoke and my drugs. Saunter around town. <laughs> I would like to smoke my drugs. <laughs> oh, nice. Those are pretty cool. Yeah, I'm gonna say it looks like that. Because um, I think that's cool. Uh, sure, you very quickly, um, you <laughs> you very quickly like catch the attention of a guard who just looks at you and just like, mate, not out. Not outside. You know the rules. Don't make me write you up. I don't know the rules. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm from out of town. I, I, I thought... Cause That's fine. I'm letting you off a warning. Just, you know, there's... Uh, I will put it out. Is it? Back into my what's, it what's it called in America where you have to have it in a plastic bag? Baggy? No, the rule where you have to have it in a plastic bag. The dumb, thing, the dumb rule where you're not allowed to drink booze if the bottles show in. Oh. It's a hyper bottle. <laughs> I, I'm not American, so I can't really... Sure. Um, yeah, it's not an outdoors activity. It's getting fucking lit. Um, <laughs> that's fine, you have it on you. And you did get... I'm going to say you got enough puffs in to get high. A little bit high. Um, not even a concept. Which I assume you're not resisting. No, the effect. You can't really resist it. Okay, so the way... Because it's kind of a poison. Okay. Uh, if you wanted, like, if 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 this was being happened, like, if this was being forced on you, yeah, um, I would let you roll a con save to try and resist. Okay. But obviously, you know, no. if you're taking oh. your own drugs, you're not going to try and fucking resist no. them. So yeah, you just get a little bit, like, a little buzz. Okay. A little buzz going. A little buzz. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, they are. Uh, it's like. It's, it's a downer, it's not an upper, by the way. So you're, oh. like, mellow. Yeah. Something okay. with a little, little stronger than weed, not quite heroin. Okay. So, <laughs> I'll check that one out. Oh. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Mm, interesting. Like, spin it. Yeah. Okay. Um, Anyways, Australian. yeah. You find I find these even better things. <laughs> you find something even better. You find. Um, uh, well, we find. The, you find yeah. a store called the. Uh, uh, the Blooded Hook is the name of it. Um, and in the window are all sorts of fucking weird shit. You see shrunken heads, uh, <laughs> like like ritualistic looking daggers uh you see 
um, books uh, bound in what oh, books. Uh, very crude leather, God knows of what. Um, you had me at books. Yeah, this is this is basically like Diagon Alley, but if Lovecraft had his hands on it. I'm going in. Cool. Um, it smells pretty foul in here, like um, stale, dusty, and like formaldehyde. Um, uh. And there's like a crone. Uh, like it's. You don't really need to do an investigation check. It's clearly a hag. But they've uh, done. They're trying their best to hide it. <laughs> uh, who's behind the counter? Um, yeah, are you just gonna have like an explore? Yeah, I want to look through and find, see if any cool. Who books else is going anything. in here? Who else is coming in here? Because this is the main party. Yeah, may this as well. place gives, This ahead. place is yeah, giving major. Well. If this, this place is giving real like major bad vibes, by the way. So if that matters. To okay, the character, then I am definitely out. going in. Yeah, you're definitely going if in. If he's going in, I need to go in. Just to be... <laughs> he definitely... He really needs supervising in here. Yeah. Because uh, this... I'll, uh, I'll go into to pretend them. I didn't hear that. You very what? quickly kind of get the impression, Mifrix, that this is a place that deals in cursed goods. Oh, God, yes. Oh. Um, most of the things on display here are in... but in... Uh, behind dis glass displays. Some stuff is just left out, like books and whatnot, for you to flick through. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, and you kind of, uh, you're just kind of like flicking through one of these books, and you don't even notice that the hag has just like snuck up behind you, and is like, like, like she's like even hunched. She's like seven foot tall, <laughs> um, <laughs> peering over your shoulders, like, see something you like, dearie, uh, and her breath smells like piss. Oh god. Oh, no. <laughs> Can I just do a precipitation to make it go away? Just like to like waft caution. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Is there anything in particular I can help you with? Uh, I'm just browsing for now. I'm not gonna do a high voice. Ooh, me. I'm just, me. I'm just Yeah, help him first. Uh absolutely young man. How may I be of uh, surface? What are you looking for? I'm looking for something. A little bit spooky. When when <laughs> when he's uh, distracting her, I want to do uh, a little um, bit spooky. You say okay, yeah, go on, as many. I would just yeah. want to do. The, uh, I have a free cast of detect magic, so I don't have to ritual cast it. So I oh yeah, do it just free blows cast up. up. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm mostly trying to focus Super. it on the books. If I look and okay. look at any of the books, most of the books are not magical, and some of the trinkets in here aren't magical either. Oh, yeah. um, you do notice. Um, you find two books that are kind of giving off some magical vibes. Both of them are behind glass cases. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, cool. Uh, she's like, oh, something spooky. I think I might have just what you're looking for. Your most cursed item, perhaps. Absolutely. Uh, oh, wait, my most cursed item? <laughs> I thought you just wanted something no. to scare the children. Please no. No. I, we will. Well, I, I'm going to veto that. Now that you mention it, both of them sound very good to me. Uh, well, we will see what we can find. And she like goes into the back uh, and pulls out. First is a fairly regular looking lantern, um, which Ooh. as soon as she uh, kind of snaps her fingers. Cure. She snaps her fingers and lights the lantern, and as soon as she does, the whole shop fills with ear-splitting screams and howls. <gasps> That's the worst. Yes, please. Yeah, no. <laughs> awesome. Can, I'm uh, gonna. Can she, I use? She lets it run for about. Break, she lets like, it run for about there. ten seconds, and then she like clock. No, that's not how formatted works. It's not a fucking tape recorder. No, just to make me a little bit larger. Sorry. You can maybe bass boost it a little, but. <laughs> Uh, she flicks her fingers again, and the flames die, uh, and uh, the screaming comes to a, a relatively abrupt stop. Ten Maybe not. seconds. <sighs> oh god. Yeah, uh, it's pretty wow. long. She was enjoying watching like Kirin. Like, Dusty's just like wide eyed. Wide eyes. Yeah, Kirin, Asmolian, and and uh, Ukiyo are probably hating it. Yeah. Um. 
That's more it's mostly like looking at the magical property of it, I guess. <laughs> what type of magic it is using. Uh, the magical property of it? Well, yeah, you, you can see the magic it's, type. It's necromantic. No, necromantic. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. Uh, and she does kind of say, it was like, that's not just a mere trick, that genuinely the, the, the lantern is a kind of auditory window into a certain particularly nasty plane of hell. Ooh. A one-way window. Ooh, I like that. It's, it's not particularly dangerous, but it is quite horrid. Those are real screams you're hearing, in uh, in live uh, quality as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's as if I'm there. Uh, she also kind of pulls out an item which is completely wrapped in cloth, and says, "Well." You asked for my most cursed item, so here it is, but I don't think you really understand the weight of that request. Uh, but if you... I never like do. To... <laughs> That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, she unwraps it, and it is a sword. Oh. Uh. Ooh. Or before. Is it a beefy sword? Uh, it's like a long sword. Not it's nowhere near Kieran. It's nowhere near Kieran's size. Not like... interested. It's like a what, it, what, it, what, it, what does it do? What is, what's the curse on it? Uh, the sword uh, is a uh, well. It's somewhat of a failed phylactery for a particularly nasty lich. <gasps> uh, he, the the ritual failed, and his soul is trapped inside. I don't want that anywhere oh. near our party. Oh. It's not Vecna, is it? That's some no, bad juju. No, that's fine. I didn't think so. I'm just checking. Um, and by particularly, when I say particularly nasty, not particularly competent. Um, he's just that makes rather sense. evil. Um, yes. Uh, he will. I mean, is there really a such so... thing as a good lich? <laughs> you, you knew him personally, then. <laughs> Uh, no, but I have communicated. Oh, into the sword. Yes. Is that what happens when you touch it? When you use the sword, yes. Uh, when you attune to the sword, uh, here, you make what is known as a soul connection. Uh, but you can communicate him with other means, uh, which I have done. I think I know what sword it is. It's not based on any sword in particular. Sentient swords are fairly famous in the yeah. Okay. Okay, Doesn't... that's not what we're looking for. What are these two books? <laughs> are those two books? Yeah. Oh, interesting. You have exceptional taste. Um, this one is the... Um, Uh, this one is the Binding Tome of Sorrow. Um, it, uh, whoever writes their name into the book um, can change their appearance to become any of the other people who have written their name in the book. Uh, however, there is a small chance uh, when using the book that your soul will be devoured and you will spend your the rest of your life trapped inside the book. Amazing. Holy shit. That sounds awesome. Uh, this one, uh, to be perfectly honest, is somewhat of a mystery. Uh, I have never... Uh, I've never looked upon the book myself because uh, I believe that to read from the book in its entirety will grant uh, immense knowledge at the immediate and uh, unnegotiable price of death. Hmm. I mean, we do have room to fly. Yeah, this uh, might be stronger. That sounds like a permanent yeah. death. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I uh, could not tell you if that would work or not. Um, possible. Certainly. I mean, we could try it. I recommend you know, try, try it. I think you, I think it's. Uh, I'm all in the 
uh, for the scientific approach and the pursuit of knowledge. Yes, we should wish. we should especially just try it three times just to check. So that book gives you knowledge. What what does it do? Sorry. Um, I have been told that it grants um, immense uh, knowledge. Yes, that's. So I mean, sense, it's it, pretty... so it's in a sense an inter intelligence booster. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that you word that in fantasy, and she says yeah. potentially. <laughs> um, Potentially, I always, always, I'd always interpret it as secrets, but I suppose it could be used to expand one's mind. Um, again, no one's really lived to say one way or another. So, what? How, how, how much is it? Uh, this book is. Uh, she kind of flicks through a ledger because no one's asked about the instant death book in a while. Um, <laughs> she says, uh, well, I have had that thing for quite a while. Uh, I could probably let it go for 3,000 gold. Hmm. Here's the question. Is it worth it, guys? Look on the bright... As Asmolia wants to read it. 3,000 gold. Asmolia is like, he wants to read every book. <laughs> exactly. This is the worst thing for Asmolia. This is literally his Oh my god. Hall. I've just had a brilliant idea and I will Fuck! No! Asmolia, look on the bright side. You're really old anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, well. You could save this book for your deathbed. I don't even have 3,000 gold, so... I'll give you 3,000 gold. Yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> You're paying for it. I, I hand it over. All in cash. So, so now I have an instant death. Obviously. <laughs> uh... I wrote down instant death book in the back of all this. <laughs> cool. Um... She notices uh, Keo kind of browsing a little bit. Um, ah, yes, that is the robe of flaying. <laughs> flaying. <No. laughs> that sounds really cool. Uh, if uh, anyone who wears this robe um, becomes the robe, <laughs> not quite. the The robe binds itself almost inseparably from human skin. Uh, to remove the robe would require the removal of an immense amount of skin. Oh, this man, this man oh. Oh. What? What I possible? Like it. Does it serve? Uh, not many pleasant ones. Um, also, after a certain amount of time, the robe removes itself along with its. Uh, oh no! Ah. Oh. Along with the skin. As long with the skin. Oh. Um. Does it do anything other than look suave? Um, I Perhaps. it looks rather warm. <laughs> That's useful, especially <laughs> better, if it's close to the skin as well. Maybe um, actually that might not be as good insulation. <laughs> skin it might be worse stuff. insulation. It would be worse insulation for sure. Mm. Um, typically, this is usually given as an uh, a present to enemies. So, oh no, that is a good idea. Actually. So, what's the use of it? Like, to, oh, uh, to use to give to your enemies. Yes, most of these things are typically in my store are bought for that purpose. Wait, what if that's what we? I that would be a good way to do this, right? Our uh, our our um goal in this. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, I was thinking the same. We could. Mm. We could like wrap it around their head and suffocate them. Well, yeah, if it's no. for suffocation, it would fun function just as well as any other robe. Um, yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> this robe specialty is is flaying and mostly only flaying. Hmm. I mean, that's any items? Any items that are untouched? Are dead? Uh, yes. Are you interested in tools of death? Mm -hmm. uh, Don't tell anyone, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting. Um, painful. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't uh, have to be painful. Instant? Yeah, that's mostly like my best thing. Okay. B uh, both? A surprisingly oh. common request. Uh, I will see what I can find. What kind of place is this? Uh, <laughs> not a Very place useful. that nice. 
<laughs> it, that's a 28 roll, that's why I'm very... <laughs> yeah, it, this was the hard, and it was really tucked away. Like, literally, uh, it was a faded star, a sign above cellar steps. Uh, tucked away in a back alley. This is typically the kind of place you only find if you know where it is. Um, so, um... <sighs> Oh, look at this. Big yawns. Uh, we should probably wrap up soon, actually, looking at the time. Mm -hmm. I want to read the book. Yeah, I want to read the book. I want to Okay, no worries. I'll finish right this. I'll, I'll, I'll give you guys your instant death item. Um, so, um, here is... Uh, here is uh, two items. One, I think, maybe isn't what you're after, and one maybe is. Um... I also have a range of poisons, which uh, you might be interested in. But uh, the first is a uh, cursed dagger, um, which simply only needs to draw blood once to uh, to have, have a have a chance of causing instant death. There is also a chance that it might take the life of the user. Fifty-fifty oh. shot. Fuck. Not quite, not quite fifty-fifty. It is weighted in favor of its uh, user. Yeah, uh, user. there is also uh, an equal chance that it may not work at all. Uh, so it's mm. not very reliable. Um, yes. Yeah, it sounds useless. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, not sounds quite. Uh, the The story is is that a famous hero used this to slay a uh, great and evil king. Um, however, he met his death at the weapon's hand merely a year later, uh, hunting a boar. Uh, I but mean, he clearly wasn't aware of its properties, then. He was not, no. Um, the other item is a, a necklace. Uh, which he pulls out, says, this is rather potent. Um, however, uh, rather expensive as well. Um, it simply needs to be worn for one week, and it will achieve its skull. Oh, which is death. 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 <laughs> oh. Does it have to be like uh, worn right away for a week or does it, it has to be consecutive or is it just like if he wears it one day and then another day and then another day a week straight is it yeah by the time we get back home we might find all these yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> um i believe it is consecutive ah, too bad <laughs> um dm question go on that dagger. Yeah. Could I use luck on that? Uh, I'm gonna guess not. I'm gonna say yes because uh, that is the kind of thing that luck would come in very, very handy for. Not dying. Yes. Uh, I mean, you can use okay. luck to reroll death saving throws. Really? Mm -hmm. Can't you? Uh, yeah. I trust. I think you can. I think any D20. I believe if you can use it. I want to read the book. I want to read the book. I want to read the book. Okay. Um, I might have I might have something else, but uh, it is extraordinarily valuable. Okay. I'm curious for two the price of two items. Um, the Screaming Lantern, and, and the, the Dagger. Uh, the Screaming Lantern, uh, is, uh, merely 200 gold pieces. Oh, perfect. Uh, the Dagger is 10,000. Okay. Uh, what's the uh, other like item? I, I do have one more item, but, uh, well... Uh, I'll tell you the price afterwards. I do like the theatrics. Um, uh, it is a ring. I don't particularly like to bring it out unless uh, uh, the it's 
uh, I, I'm confident I will sell it. It is usually kept stored in a very safe and quiet location. Um, uh, the ring can be taught a word. Any word. And if the wearer speaks it, then they die a pretty slow and painful death, but one that cannot be uh, interrupted. Huh? Yeah. How, how slow? So, what's like the word? Um, no. Uh, more <laughs> like 10 minutes of screaming. Okay. Well, shit. And we can t I hear silence. I don't believe it's what you said. Uh, the ring... <laughs> <laughs> the ring is currently valued at 30,000 gold. Yeah, I've done that. Okay. okay. Uh, what do you, what do you think? I mean, maybe, maybe we could ask Mila as well. Yeah, Do you think? Check book and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've got it on you. Or close, at least. Well, here's the thing. It's a ring, and we'd have to give it to the king, and he would know where it came from. People would have seen maybe giving it, or we could drop it, in a sense, but... Still, like, yeah, and, yeah. It, and he also have to say the word, or can we say the word? Like this, we're, we're not saying this in front of her, but it teaches you teach a word, or and maybe when the you, word. Teach, you teach the ring a word, oh. and, and when, when the, the, the ring speaks it, where the yeah. speaks it, yeah. they die. Oh, let me turn that up, then. Huh. Super califragilistic <laughs> What was it again? Super califragilistic. Yeah. Super. Reality dojas. I've got the rare. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Shopkeeper, I never asked your name. Uh, I do not share my name. Stacy. That she is sounds like a Stacy. You you may call me. Do you not have a handle? Shopkeeper, I like shopkeeper. that name. All right. Just shop. You got a handle <laughs> at the shopkeeper. <laughs> at the <laughs> dodgy just shopkeeper. Call, <laughs> just call her Shoppy. No, shopkeeper sounds more mysterious. <laughs> shopkeeper, I would like to buy the lantern and the dagger. Do you have any poisons? Ooh. Why? Why would? Hmm. Uh, yeah, I have. I have quite a range of po uh, poisons. Just Damn, the dagger can be such a clutch item. <laughs> sure. <yeah. laughs> Yeah. No, Maybe as Molly is oh, happy and it's just walking out. Of the, I'm the, thanks for the book. Bye. <laughs> you sure? You sure you want to thank her for it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a great experience. Right. Molly's <laughs> gonna be studying that. Uh, Molly's gonna be studying that book, trying to figure something out on how to avoid this girl. I mean, just just have. Um, Dusty at the ready. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I think completely reading it will activate the curse. Not, I'm guessing. I don't know. So as long as you don't read the, like the last word. Exactly. <laughs> you might accident accidentally then. Yep. Uh, just leave Speed like reader. the last page unturned. I guess yeah. maybe. I would say miss like the middle page. <laughs> middle page. It's probably not as important as the last one. Oh, true. <laughs> Or you can miss the contents page. Well, if you know, if you could, in a sense, I don't know, where it curses. Maybe if you start reading it, automatically activates a curse and keeps and forces you to keep reading it. I, in, hmm. it's probably like when you reach like a certain realization or something, maybe. Yeah. Hey, at least I get to go, go back to Bogodor, right? Oh, wait, he's not dead. Fuck. No. Who says he isn't dead? He's not dead. Yeah, who he's knows? not uh, fucking dead. Bogodor Otherwise, he's gonna answer my thing. No one knows. Okay. <laughs> Could be true. <laughs> Apparently, Osmolian does. Osmolian does. Osmolian <laughs> fucking does. 
Anyways, what's uh? You guys heading back to the hotel? Did you guys buy the dagger, or did you want to buy the dagger? Yeah, he, he uh, bought the dagger. Bricks, maybe sword art. Or did you fall fall asleep? <laughs> Me? Yuki, <laughs> what's up? Are you sword art? No, I'm I'm I'm. I was looking at tw Twitter. What's up? <laughs> oh man! Did you hear me ask to buy the things? The dagger. What, 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 are you, what are you trying to buy? The screaming lantern on the dagger. You want the screaming lantern and the dagger? That, that's why I asked the name because I want to address them before I bought it. Okay. Oh, well, the screaming lantern. I gave you a price. I gave you. A, oh, you bought both it, of them then. Yeah, yeah two hundred and ten thousand. Yeah. Do you have that much gold? Like, how do you have that much gold? I have twenty like thousand. From I got from betting. I, I got a lot. I, I spent all my all my betting money on potions. Oh wow. Uh, she That's does say she potion. brings out a uh, a poison in a, a small vial um, and says, um, "One drop of this will do the job on just about anything short of a dragon." Damn. Take that with you. Take it with you, Dusty. Wait, what? Buy the poison. Uh, just to have how it. How much? Oh, yeah. I thought you were going to buy it. Yeah, I'll buy it. Well, I don't know. How much, much, how much is this poison? This poison is is worth 80,000 gold. Oh, oh God. <laughs> it's, it's the, it is the most lethal yeah. uh, effective poison I have. The thing is, I have 7,988. No, no. Oh, you bought so much I have stuff. Seven thousand and ninety-eight gold. Do you need some money? Um, Kieran has like Kieran's a bunch of money. Kieran's the richest have, in the group. I have quite a bit of money. Kieran, like, you pay like, for it. Hundred gold or whatever. I mean, even if you buy it, we still have to dispose it somehow or give it to him. Yeah. Well, there's now we have a lot of it's ways of doing it. I, I was Why don't we? Can we anything. not like buy it on the way out? Like, is this what you're thinking of? <laughs> with? That assumes that we're going to get away with the murder and we're not being chased to the border. I mean, I was trying to be discreet about what we were talking about, but you know, thanks, Milo. Milo's not there, so that's no. David. I mean, we're, yeah, we're talking me. about the like... instruments of death here. It, like, it's kind of obvious, like what we're talking. You about. have to. You are also under a con magical contract. You have to be. Discreet. Yeah, like I, I, I'm. I don't mean like the details. Like we're, we're talking yeah. about a murder here. But that's like if you just if you're wanting to buy it, like to use it later for not when we're here, then we could just buy it on the way out. Yeah, true. But we'll forget it then. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> well, I mean, well, for... uh, going forward, the more options you have, the better. Yeah. Yeah. True. Yeah. Whatever. Maybe. Here, whatever yeah. gold he needs, I'll, he can have. How much? How I much mean, he uh, eight. I that, it was eighty thousand. I don't think you have that much. Eight thousand. Oh, eight. Eight thousand. Yeah. I heard eighty thousand. <laughs> it was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I'm not, I don't have that much money. No. Uh, I'll, I'll actually gold. tell you guys the plan. Be in the sec that I have, it, but yeah. Discuss it in the No Brooks Allowed chat. Yeah, it, yeah. Well, I wonder. You guys can go straight there afterwards because I'm gonna I'm gonna head out after I'm done. So if you guys want to plot with your new tools, be you're more than free <laughs> to. Yeah. Oh, uh, so are you buying the uh, the poison? Do you want to split it, Karen? Four K. No, no. I'll give you what you need for. It. I don't. I don't give a um. shit. Poison. I don't think we need it. Because like, we uh, it. why would we have? Why would I have a big stabby thing? Yeah, that's basically Kieran's thought. It's but like I'm I'll help gonna... you finish buying it, but I'm not gonna like split it with you. I don't want responsibility I... for this. Can I please have two thousand gold pieces? <sighs> Fine. Thank you, Kieran. <laughs> I give a big, <laughs> big bear hug. Uh, <laughs> mommy, mommy, I want it's poison. It's barely tolerated. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mommy, 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 can I have effort? two thousand gold so I can buy the poison I, from the nice Dusty lady? walks out. Dusty walks out of the shop like I bought a screaming lantern, a death dagger, and poison. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> yay! <laughs> um, I was gonna say when I hug Kieran, oh, you fucking cleric! I, act I activate the lantern <laughs> just, oh just for a second, God. and then I stop. Oh God. 
He's gonna that's kill gonna, you. That's the part that I. That's the only purchase that I really regret. Is the fucking. One. <laughs> and it was the cheap one. <laughs> you know, that's gonna be the most annoying one. <laughs> Thank you. Especially Kira. in your hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, Brick, what was the name of the dagger and the poison? Uh. Death's Kiss Poison. Uh, call it, just call it like the Last Chance Dagger. I don't <laughs> think it would have a name. I think like, she would have been the one to give it a name because everyone else who had it is dead. So You dip that dagger in that poison and you are a badass. <laughs> double dip. <laughs> got, got, got him double dead. Double dip. Um... And um, can you like send me descriptions of those at some point? Yeah, I'll get those to you. Cool. Should we call it that, guys? Yeah, I was gonna yes, say, yes, are we that the the chunk, the biggest chunk of it, I guess? Because I need a, I need a. Oh wait, wasn't the smalling gonna read, read the book? I want to start it. Figure out if we can find a way around. We'll maybe do that one next week, I think. Okay. Yeah. Alright, I'll see you guys. Yeah. Bye. Right. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.